Hey, welcome to X After Hours. We decided to take this to video. It's episode three. I don't know why. I don't know why we were allowed to make a video of this. Well, they're all going to be videoed now. So if you want, you don't have to listen. You can watch. You can watch radio. I always think when I'm listening to radio, like, man, I wish I could watch this. And now you can. It's almost like it's a television episode. <laughs> Whoa. Hit it, Logan. <laughs> It's X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of X92.9's X Afternoon's extracurricular activities. Oh, that was a mouthful. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, uh, X After Hours, we usually like to kick off with the drink of the week. That wait, wait, we wait. Feature mm-hmm. what? Because it's on video. Is my hair Roxbury good? No? Okay. I mean, you can wear it if you want. No, no, no. no we'll stick with the two. Okay. Um, okay. I'm wearing a hat today. We're both wearing hats. We gymmed hard. Um, okay, welcome to X After Hours. This is Mariah and Ty. You may listen to us on uh, Calgary's Alternative X92.9, but we like to start the show with these drinks, and I feel like this is so much better now that we're doing this on video because you can actually see the drinks that we're trying. People didn't believe that you were actually drinking before. Why? Like I'm who? just kidding. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Um, big shout out to Topo Chico because they actually sent these to us. And this is because Valentine's Day uh, happened earlier this week and they did this cool thing where you could send your ex a cactus. And we were talking about this earlier on our show how, you know, cactuses actually, even though they're prickly, they're actually quite cute and easy to take care of. And you can eat cactus. Not the one, probably not these ones. That's true. Um, well, but thank you, Topo Chico. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, and and I'm not going to lie, I've never tried one before, so this is the first very real experience for me. I got Tropical mm. Mango. What would you get? Well, you gave me tangy lemon lime. I think I'll do a, a taste test with you, and we'll give them a, like, almost like an ad. Yeah. But we'll give our honest review of these drinks And how this works afterwards. is, yeah, we review them after. We'll just give a little... Oh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, it smells good. Only 100 calories. Okay. Okay. Topo Chico. Well, it's been a hard day. That feels pretty good. Tastes pretty good. After a hard day of radio, I reach for a Topo Chico. <laughs> They're never going to send us a pro back to No way. Are you kidding me? That was a great A ad. People pay top dollar for that. Initial taste? Uh, it's good. I love a seltzer. You know, it's nice that it's not in the middle of like a summer heat wave right now. Because like, have you ever drank in seltzers in the summer and not realized how many you drank? That's the beauty of them. Uh, um, like I'm not going to lie. This is a bit of a nice change up. Not that I didn't like the beer that we had last week, which was like that. You the got me like beers. a dark beer, but this is just. It's Topo Chico. <sighs> Reach for the best. Reach for Topo. <laughs> That's not the- <laughs> That's not their liner. All right. Well, they didn't give us one, so I'm coming up with them on the spot. Uh, today on the show on X After Hours, we're going to talk about my experience at a dinner theater, my first one. Yeah, I mean, you're not, you're, by the sounds of it, I think we're going to find out it wasn't your favorite, but that's okay. Not for everybody. Um, and as well, you know, I thought you weren't here for Valentine's Day, and I was kind of really grasping at thin air on how to be creative for Valentine's Day for Mr. Bunce. Uh, my boyfriend, if you listen to our show, we, we talk about Mr. Bunce quite regularly. Yeah. But I, I did something fun. I made a super X-rated coupon book. I thought we could like bring it on the show, show some of the pictures, do a flip through. It's did like a storybook. Did you uh, include any coupons for Topo Chico? Okay. Uh, no, that'll be good. I can't wait to see that. Um, and then we're going to end it with our review of the week where we review... Random products from everyday life. It could be anything. And then we're going to say goodbye and tell you our thoughts on. Thanks again, Topo Chico. Delish. Topo Chico. Stop. Reach for the best. (laughs) Okay. This is the X After Hours podcast with Mariah and Ty. Really? They'll give anyone a podcast these days. Except for me. Sorry, Matt. I was away for two days on the show because I went to Edmonton to hang out with my girlfriend for Valentine's Day, and we went to the dinner theater. And this will be really great for the video podcast here because I can do big hand movements. I don't I don't have many like photos or videos. Well, I don't think you can. Like, I don't think you oh, can. Oh, you can. People were doing oh, okay. it for sure. <laughs> Is that the real reason why you didn't like it? And not that I'm saying you didn't like it, it's but not- you're kind of leading me to the 
the path here that you didn't have a good time. No, I did have a good time and I did like it. It's just not what I thought it was. So tell me what you thought a dinner theater was. I thought a dinner theater was. You would go, be sat, and your table's like facing the stage, right? Yeah. And then uh, they would bring you like a menu, like a silent one maybe. You check off what you're going to be eating and then you give it to the server and they're all quiet because the show's on. Yeah. And there's like a whole play going on, a whole musical, like a three-act musical or something. What did you have? Not that. We were in a group table, which was fine. We made friends with them. They actually drove us home later. Uh, Really? Yes, my girlfriend. People love her. You're You got a ride from strangers? I feel like that is a story here. Not the dinner. The strangers were cool. They were good people. You're telling me you just got in a random car with people randomly? I guess we do this with Ubers all the time. We sat together and had dinner. You're like, hey, you mind swinging by my apartment? (laughs) Are you sure they weren't? Looking to swing? I, the thought does cross my mind, but no, thank, thankfully not. Uh, they were just nice people who drove us home. I mean, we lived so close to the theater. But besides the point, so I thought you go to a dinner theater and you like sit down, you have your drinks, and you're watching this awesome musical happen. Yeah. Um, that's not the case. What you get is more like medieval times, which I also realize now is dinner theater. I've, I've, uh, I've been to meet medieval times and I had a great time. I don't think we have any in Canada. So if you don't know what medieval times is, I'm they do. pretty certain. Where? I went to one in Ontario. Fact. Okay. So one in Ontario. Yep. <laughs> it's a giant like medieval themed restaurant. I think you eat with like your hands, right? And then like knights come out and joust and they yeah. bring audience participation in. Yeah. It's kind of like that. That's kind of what the dinner theater was like. Um, they didn't have any original songs, which is just something I thought they were going to do. Were the lights, like, low at least? Like, was it a nice theater to sit in? Uh, yeah, it was, like, a nice time. I had a good time. I would nice go again. Time. It's just not what I thought it was. Uh, like, the the staff are coming in and talking to you, like, the people in the place, so the actors, not the staff. But they're coming in chatting with you in between scenes of the show while you eat. So it's, like, more interactive. But they're in character the whole time. Oh. And then, you know, some of the servers will get up on stage and start singing. And the thing that was weird is we saw a show where it was based off like another TV show. And this You're being very elusive. It was based <laughs> on The Office, okay? It was based on The Office. It was a fine show. Like, go see it at the, at the dinner theater. But there was one guy who was supposed to be playing Creed. And you know Creed on The Office has like a bald head, a yeah. random guy. Guy was bald. It was just like some old guy who worked there. And they're like, he's Creed because he's old. He had like black dyed hair. And I was like, this is odd. But they also had an original character, which I was confused about. So I was like, he'll make an original character, but not an original song. Huh. But then you, I, I couldn't make something like this. You know, I'm an improv guy. I feel like you have an idea for a really good business model that maybe you should run with. But no, I feel, I feel you because sometimes you like – you. Last year, I tried to like, this was obviously when COVID was kind of like still happening, but I wanted to try and spend money on things that were more like experiences like that. And you kind of always take like a bit of a leap, right? You're like, oh, I'm going to spend 80 bucks on this dinner theater, this show. Am I going to have a good time? What do I expect? And then it's like, it's always like a bit of a gamble. So I get it. I get it. It was expensive, but uh, you know, the drinks were good. There was no Topo Chico, but uh, it was still a good... Good so, time. like, overall, would you go back? Yeah, I would go back, uh, and I think I'd probably be a little more enthusiastic now because I know what it is, and so I would look for a certain type of show. See, like, like I went to the dinner theater before when we I were talking you about did. this. You're telling me something that does not sound like my But, I mean, like, mine was around Christmas, so maybe because it was so busy, it was different. But, like, we got there, everybody was dressed really nice. It was like some sort of like Elvis. Oh, there was a dude in a t-shirt there straight up. Okay, there you go. So, well, maybe because it was around the holidays, but we got there before everything started. We went, we had a buffet, we got our food, sat down. There was no buffet. And then they had the theater. No, we had a three course meal though. Like I can't complain. Like it was great service. How was the food? The food was great. Uh, that's that's what I think would have been more disappointing if you went there. The the salad to start was fantastic. Um, (laughs) They had beets in it. I'm, I'm all down for beets. Beats are good. Uh, there was two desserts. Uh, Did you have the drinks? Yeah, we had drinks, but there was no Topo Chico. So that's the only thing I would give it a negative star for. Um, Topo Chico. 
getting into the, into the dinner theaters. Okay, even though the dinner theater was bad, I literally cannot get over the fact that you just were like, hey, random people, want to drive me and my girlfriend home? That is like... I didn't say that. That was all her. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, well, whatever. We die, we die. Are you insane? Like, I would never be like, hey... What do you think these people looked like? Like, like they they were scary people? Still, they looked like normal, nice people out That's how nice they get you. That's how they get you. Would you take a chocolate bar from a normal nice person? Yes. Oh, God. I absolutely would. Would you not? No. Maybe. I don't, I don't believe know. you. Yeah, you're full of it. <laughs> but yeah, dinner theater. I don't know. Go check it out. And it's not a full-blown musical show. You're listening to X After Hours with Mariah and Ty. But you already know that since you, like, downloaded it yourself. Good job, buddy. I thought that I was going to try and be creative for Valentine's Day. And I mean, like... Usually I am in the sense that I make like a nice meal. I still made a nice meal, but I was like, I got to do something for Mr. Bunce. You know, still don't got that ring. We're trying to solidify. Okay. I'm just kidding. Please don't think I'm insane. <laughs> just kidding. Um, no, I wanted to, you know, think of something creative where I thought I could make like one of those kind of spicy like coupon books, you know, you a were telling me. A couple's coupon book. I yeah. think I was doing this back in the day. You've done that? Yeah, I think I had some uh, ex-girlfriends. We've done this before. Hopefully, it works out better for you than it did what me. What was clearly. in your What was in your coupon book? Uh, like a free date, foot rubs, nothing too spicy in there. I was like 21 when we were doing this. Okay, I okay. I don't know. Maybe it's something silly like uh, f- one free. Slaying of the monster mash in my car. Like, I don't know, something Oh, weird. I thought you were going to be like, one free slaying of this monster. Well, yeah, you know, that too. That was in there. Okay. Um, How much of that Tobo Chico you have? Half. Oh, right. I don't have that many segments left. I'm trying to stretch it. Well, it um, tastes that good. It's hard not to. Okay. So, essentially, I thought, you know, I'm going to keep this pretty XX X rated. And I said, I'm going to send this to... Did you put glitter on it and bedazzle it? Or was it just like straight up, like you printed it off of Microsoft Word and well, we're like, here I mean, you go? I played it over the radio. I didn't actually make a physical You didn't actually one. make them a physical one? No, check it out. This is a... So you're going to play the clip to me yeah. on your phone, but producer Sam and producer Logan are going to edit it in to sound normal? Yes? Okay, play it. Looking to spice up your Valentine's Day this year? Take a note out of my book and listen to the coupon book that I have set up to give my boyfriend, Mr. Bunce. This will really put some pep in your step, some spice into your life. Valid for one day only, uninterrupted shitting times, no comments on how stinky the bathroom is after. The throne is all yours, babe. Free eight hours of COD. It's a marathon. No limit on yelling into the mic with the boys. Oh my f-ing god! Free DD ride there and back to the golf sim. You can be as belligerent as you want. I don't remember you being so beautiful. One time use only gourmet sandwich made from scratch via me. Subject to no yelling, hey, make me a sandwich lady. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Get ready to get spicy. Like, I could barely play that over the radio. Like, that was so XXX. How awful of shits is your boyfriend taking that you have to give him a coupon and be like, hey, you know what? Whatever, if you have a mean one coming, (laughs) if you have some one in the chamber, like one brewing, this is when you want to use that coupon. I'm going to give you some real life advice here. I'm going to tell Mr. Bunce, I'm going to be like, hey, man, let's go to Taco Bell. I know you got that coupon. You were still in the sweet spot. You know, you don't, you, you're only driving up every like three weeks to see your girlfriend you know she's still pretending she doesn't shit there's a fan in her bathroom okay but I mean like there's gonna <laughs> come a point there's gonna come a point where you're like I Bunce, know I know you're shitting how like, did Mr. Bunce feel about it he's surreal he loves it he loved it he was like yeah that's me <laughs> he played it for the boys no, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there comes a time, Did he use the coupon that day on Valentine's Day no, for the Call no, of Duty? No, he's saving that for like, I don't know, after a Christmas Day. Probably. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, like, I'm out. telling you, you're in a relationship yet where that, that doesn't come out. But, you know, like, sometimes you're going to see where you just want a no comment zone on the shits that are had. <laughs> Okay. Like I've been in more. This is not have my you ever first lived relationship. With your, have you ever lived with any I did uh, for like three months. Okay, in that's still the sweet zone. You got to give it a year. Three months? You got to give it a year. 
<laughs> what do you think, men are just like? I know. What, what happened? Like, so wait, what happened? So you dated Mr. Buns, and then a year in, so pissed and then a year in, he was like, "Now I can really start shitting." One hundred percent. You gotta make it to the year. You gotta make it to the year. <laughs> have you have you gone on a have you gone on a vacation with a girlfriend like a de- like a travel destination where you have to fly? Yes. Where? We went to Edmonton from Winnipeg. Okay. <laughs> Just wait. Did you stay in a hotel? Uh, no. We stayed with my parents. Okay. I stayed in a hotel with one in Kenora. Okay, well, just wait. You're going to go somewhere. We're going to be eating some really unique food that you're not used to. It's going to hit you or Mrs. Soon-to-be Sorry. Jordan. And then you're going to be like, babe, I'm going to not judge you for the shit. <laughs> I would say, like, if you think you're going to take a big dump for anyone <laughs> dating anyone. I don't care what your relationship is, who you're with. This goes for everyone. If it's really bad, just go use like a public restroom. Yeah, but sometimes you don't always have that option. <laughs> I've lived in a one bathroom house. It's fair. Sometimes I have friends come over. I won't say which friend this is. <laughs> you, just you know, filter. you know, but there's one friend that every time he comes over, I used to tell our other friends, like, I'm like, count down until he's going to take a big dump. Oh, okay. It's going to be quick because he's always doing that. I'll tell you after, oh, off mic. Because okay. uh, no one will get it other than us. It's probably it's Mr. Mr. Bunch. Hey, I'm using that coupon <laughs> for that shit. Uh, so, what else was on the coupon book? Well, I just thought it was funny. The COD gaming. The COD. You know, everybody, like, again, I'm trying to reinsert the spice into the life. I'm trying to get. The sexy time back in action. And I think mm-hmm. nothing else says that besides me not judging your shits you're taking. And, you know, I know that there comes a time. You have uninterrupted gaming time. You get to be gaming on your fucking whatever it is. What, what's your <laughs> a game? A computer? No, what's your stupid? What's the, sorry, no judgment. What's the game that you play that uh, you're up making mustard sandwiches? Oh, Project Zomboid. We okay. make mustard sandwiches. Okay. Anyway, so... You know, there's a time right now you don't live with your girlfriend, so she can't be like, hey, what are you doing at 2.30 a.m.? Stop making the mustard sandwiches. Right now, I am that girl. I'm like, hey, the screaming into the mic has to come to an Kayla, end. I don't scream into the mic while I game. Okay, well. You, you should know, just take away his headset. No, he that, that would be worse. Pop on Zombo and I'll be, make him a mustard sandwich. That would He'll be worse. It. I'd have to deal with stinky shits for the rest okay, of Okay, so it was gaming, and what was the other one? And then I thought, you know, I should be a nice person and offer to DD to the golf simulator. It's it's a fun time. It's hard not to drink while you're there. Uh-huh. And then the last one, I thought, I'll make a gourmet sandwich without, you know, I'll, I'll let some of the sexism seep into our life for a minute. Because usually okay. I'm like, for the power, I, I, don't, I don't play with that BS. And then I was like... I'll make you a sandwich. I'll do it. I'll be a lady, you know? Just kidding. I'm joking. But and what did he get you? Um, he got me wine, Hogwarts Legacy. Very cool. We talked about that on the show. I'm not very good at it. Um, and then oh, he got me a little sloth creature, a little teddy bear sloth. Okay. And some some plants. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, the only thing that would make that better hmm. is a Topo Chico. Shut the fuck up. You're diving a little deeper into the world of Mariah and Ty with the X After Hours podcast. And now it's time for Mariah and Ty's Ty's Review of of the the Week. week. It's time for Mariah and Ty's Review of the Week. (laughs) Who's going first? Um, you can go first. Okay, well, my review this week is a bit of an experience, Mariah. Shut the fuck up. It's always an experience. <laughs> it you is. You tried to say cauliflower was an experience. Anyways, go ahead. Sorry. Do you notice anything different about me today? You're wearing a lot of blue. You're wearing a toque. You're close. Toque? You're close with the blue. I'm not reviewing a toque. What would be wrong with that? The Cardiff City? Nope. Shoes. Sam knows the Damien Lillard Rick... Flair, crossover shoes, the Dame 7s. Yes, Sam, I will make sure I get that on camera. They were a limited edition shoe that came out a couple years ago. I haven't been wearing them for a long time because I was like, I can't scuff these up. I can't mess these up. The weather's too bad. The weather's been quite nice in Calgary. I thought today... hate to break it to you. They look dirty. Well, they are dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Because I also wore them to one weekend only. That was the last time you would have seen them. Why would you wear those there? Because I was dressed as Bugs Bunny and Space Jam, and I'll be damned Jesus. if I'm not going to wear 
fly basketball shoes. Okay. So anyways, when you walk on these things, you feel like you have the confidence of Ric Flair and Damian Lillard com- combined. So Damian Lillard plays for the Portland Trailblazers. Very great point guard. Very okay. good. And Ric Flair is a over 16-time world heavyweight champion. Do you know anything about yeah, those guys? Yeah, I know who Ric Flair is. And what about Damian Lillard? I don't know Damian Lillard. Oh, Mariah, those Mariah. Are- That's why you'll never understand the power of these shoes. When I How walked much- in today... Sam noticed them right away. People were giving me compliments. I gave you a compliment. Yeah, they're great. How much? I didn't pay for them. They were a gift. That's why they're extra special. From an ex-girlfriend? No, from an ex-man. I don't know. From Todd Rodman. From Todd? Todd Rodman gifted these shoes to me. Okay, if you don't know who Todd is, if you listen to our show, Todd is somebody that we employ to do sports updates, but he doesn't ever do the best updates. And that is why maybe, perhaps, Todd Rodman is still on X92.9 sometimes. Because he gifted me these beautiful Damian Lillard Ric Flair crossover shoes. I believe they're the Dame 7. They also come in white and gold. I can't believe you got those for free. Oh. And I give him five woos out of five. You didn't take him for dinner, get him a bottle, no. do something like that. He just knew that these shoes could elevate my entire game. Okay. Not of basketball, but of everything. Okay. Does that conclude your product review of the week? Yeah, it's great. I mean, Sam, if you want to get a couple more shots of these bad boys after the podcast, I'll be happy to model them for you. Well, we can overlay it. Just hang out in the dark and take video of your... Hell yeah, man. Okay, uh, time for mine. Um, and as we know, if you've been listening to our total of two episodes we have, mine, I always like to put a little, little flair on, you know, a little NSFW A little salt flare. on the chicken. Yeah, salt on the chicken. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. on the bun. What was that term you told me last week where you were like... <laughs> what is it? You said making the bald man cry. Yeah, don't say that. I've never heard that in my don't life. Don't say that. Anyways, okay. We're not getting that NSFW, <laughs> but um, here is uh, here is this week's product for the right price of seventy four ninety nine. It's the on same price Amazon. as Football Manager currently okay. on Steam. I thought that, Jesus, I thought that you maybe could give this as a gift for, maybe a laughable gift for your dad. <laughs> it's, uh, it's called a Peter Putter. Okay, is it a putter that's shaped like a, a schlong? Peter Putter! Yeah, my dad's not going to be using that putter anytime soon. What do you mean? It might elevate his game. Nothing <laughs> says I'm good at golf like I'm comfortable with my sexuality. If you want to elevate your game, you wear these shoes golfing. But uh, I could see you using those. I know you're big into the golf now. Uh, <laughs> you're going to say big into the dick. I know you're big into the dick-shaped golf. Big into the dick? Is that what you thought I was going to say? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I like golf. I just thought this would be funny. You know, you're going on a bachelor party. You want a gift for your BFF who's getting mm. married. You give them this. Come on. Do they have a holder for your balls with it? They should. They should. It's clearly just the shaft on your putting shaft. Wow. And is the, <laughs> is the grip veiny? I, oh, God. We didn't even get that far. Let's see. Grip not included, but I'm ah. sure it's listed as a bestseller. I'm sure you could get a custom grip. You know what? Yeah, Tiger Woods uses that. I saw that uh, the other day. That's right. That's why he's so good. It's big on the Live Golf Tour as well. It's probably modeled after Tiger Woods. Yeah, I'm sure that putter would be a lot longer. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you give it as a score? Jeez. Um, well, I haven't tried it. I don't know. You, you know. haven't tried it. Why are they Come on, okay. you didn't have to see the weight of this thing. Like You're right, you gotta through. see the weight on this thing. Um, I, I'll, I'll give it, you know, for price, it might, it might be like there. It looks How much cool. is it, 75 bucks? 75 bucks. That's pretty good price for a putter. Yeah, I'd, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think they could have been more creative with the grip, but I think this would get a lot of laughs out on the course. Just out of 10, no score you're grading it on? 8 out of 10. What's the score? Well, I gave mine on woos. Eight shafts out of ten. Eight shafts out of ten. There you have it. It's X After Hours with Mariah and Ty. It's like X Afternoons, but in podcast form. Okay, now comes the time where we like to conclude our lovely podcast here and say thank you again to Topo Chico Hard Seltzers for sending us these. These are delicious. I had the tropical mango. I, I'm not going to lie. I think this is the favorite drink that I've had so far because it's. Uh, I'm not a big beer gal, and I really enjoy these. I'm going to give it a, a five out of five. No uh, score on that. Okay, well, I'll give uh, Topo Chico 
Five woos out of five. You know, Topo Chico, simply the best. Stop. <laughs> That's This is victory. Mm. Okay, well, before we get out of here, what's our emails that they can reach us at if they have questions or concerns or ideas? We're supposed to do that? I don't know. We did it last time. Oh, shit. Um, oh, yeah, I couldn't remember in my email. Uh, Mariah at x929.ca. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to remember. <laughs> Sam is stunned that uh, she could not remember that. Well, I don't know. Mine, do you know what mine is? Is it Ty? <laughs> You're right. You can reach us there. Uh, this has been another episode for X After Hours. Sam, I lost my sheet. Producer Sam, who's watching us. Um, is everything good on that? Are we? Did we cover it all? Yeah. Tight. Watch the video. We made this for you. Stop listening. Watch your radio. It's time. You've been listening to X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. You want more? Then tune into X Afternoons with these two live on Calgary's Alternative X92.9, Monday through Friday, 2 to 7 p.m. Mountain Time at X92.9.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of X After Hours downloaded weekly to whatever device you use. Hey, Macarena. Hi. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Hey, Macarena, Macarena. He wants me, not you. You're talking, you're talking. Sam's confused. Sam. Sam Hamilton Phelps.